Tita Puente, Mambo King, picture book by Monica Brown, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, clap your hands for Tito Puente. The Mambo King plays and sways as people dance the mambo, the rumba, and the cha-cha. Before he could walk, Tito was making music. He banged spoons and forks on pots and pans, windowsills and cans. He was so proud, he was so loud, his neighbors in Spanish Harlem said, get that boy some music lessons. And that is exactly what his mother did. Tito loved to dance too. Every year his church held a Stars of the Future contest. Little Tito danced and spun and tamped and drummed and Tito won. He was named King of the Stars. Over the years, Tito became king four times. When he wasn't playing music, Tito played baseball with sticks on the streets of his neighborhood. Tito performed at parties, restaurants, and clubs. His first band was called Los Happy Boys, and their music made people happy. During World War II, Tito was in the Navy. He joined the ship's band and learned to play the saxophone and write music. After the war, Tito went to the Juilliard School of Music and dreamed of having his own band. On weekends, Tito played magical mambos and beautiful cha-chas with different bands at the Palladium Ballroom in New York City. People loved dancing to salsa and the rhythms of Tito and his timbales. Still, he wished he could be the band leader. Tito's dream finally came true when he led his very own big band, the Tito Puente Orchestra. He wrote music and recorded more than a hundred albums. He made music with Celia Cruz, Santana, and La Lupe. When Tito Puente Orchestra played, the tambourines sounded like rain on metal roofs. The horns blew high and loud and strong and low. The claves smacked clickety clack, 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 and everyone's feet went tappity tap. Best of all, Tito played the timbales. In 1970, Tito won a very special award called a Grammy, the first of five. It was a way of saying, thank you, Tito. Thank you, Mambo King. Thank you for making us want to dance and sing. The dancers twirled, the lights swirled, and the Mambo went on and on. The end. Tito Puente Biography, April 20th. 1923 through June the 1st of 2000. Ernest Anthony Puente Jr. was born at Harlem Hospital in New York City in 1923. Everyone in Spanish Harlem called him Ernestito, or Tito for short. Not only was Tito Puente considered the king of the mambo and the godfather of salsa, but he was at the center of the Latin jazz explosion. His musical career spanned half a century and crossed both musical and national borders. During his lifetime, Tito Puente recorded 118 albums and won five Grammys, including the Latin, the Grammy Life, Lifetime Achievement Award. He collaborated with the most famous Latin musicians of the 20th century, including Machito, Santana, Willie Bobo, Willie, Gloria Estefan, La Lupe, and especially Celia Cruz. Tito founded the Tito Puente Educational Foundation, which offers scholarships to students to study music at the Juilliard School of Music. He wanted to inspire other young musicians to pursue their dreams.